Hi, I'm Tom from Bakemark. I'm here in our Los Angeles Education Center today to talk to you about icings and glazes. It's one of the products I see that's most abused in the bakery. Usually it's because of handling and storage issues. So today I'm going to show you the proper way to, to use your glaze and to store it. Here I have uh, some donut glaze made with our Super Speedy. The Super Speedy works well for icing because it's a 12x sugar, so it's really, it isn't gritty and it really gives you a nice shine when it's done. Once your icing is mixed, you never want to add any water to it again. Uh, if you need to thin it down, you need to add a simple syrup to it, like our honey pectin glaze. Uh, your icing is a, per a perfect balance of syrup and sugar. If you start adding fat, uh, coffee, water, it, it will become out of balance and that's when your icing will start cracking, drying, running and losing its shine while it sits in your case throughout the day. What I like to do is with my donut, my donut glaze is when I'm done the day before, instead of a lot of people will pull water over it and that break makes the glaze break. What I do is I strain my glaze out, uh, any particles that got in there I, I strain out. And then I take this uh, uh, film wrap and I put it right on the glaze. That way it won't, uh, a crust won't form on it over, overnight. Then when I need it the next morning, all I need to do is pull this film off like this and then I just squeeze any glaze right back into it. And now my glaze is ready for use. Any product I'm going to uh, glaze with a thin glaze like this, I want to make sure the product is hot. It shouldn't be cold. That way the glaze will run off and be thin. Um, if you're going to ice a donut, you want the donut to drain 30 seconds for, to a minute so the uh, fat drains back into your fry or not into your, into your uh, icing. So then you would glaze your, uh, your item, whether it be a scone, a muffin, or whatever. You want it to be hot. When I'm done with the glaze, like I said before, I skim off any uh, matter that got in there. I take uh, the film wrap and I cover it up and it's ready for the next day. Here we have a flat icing. This is our chocolate dipping icing. And this icing needs to, it, it's just the opposite of the glaze. You take a cold product and you apply it. The best temperature for the icing is 110 to 120 degrees. When you get much hotter than 120 degrees, the icing will break down and it'll run off your product and it'll lose its shine. Once it gets that hot, you can't bring it back to life again, so you need to discard the icing. So I always use a thermometer. I, I heat it to between 110 and 120. Um, and then I, I stir it up a little. I take the donut, I just dip it in, and there you have a donut that has a nice shine to it, and the glaze doesn't run off it. Again, like, like, the, like the donut glaze, you don't want to add any, any uh, water, any fat to this. You, if you need to thin it down, use a simple syrup. When you're done at the end of the day, you just want to take your icing, you want to scrape your bowl. If you have any pieces of donuts in there, you want to strain that out. And then again, take either cover this with a cover or take some shrink wrap and cover it. Put the, if you put a, the shrink wrap back right on there, you won't, have a, you won't form a skin. These are examples of donuts I iced and glazed uh, previously. These donuts were uh, iced and glazed 21 hours ago. You can see they haven't run, they haven't cracked, they still, ha still have their shine. If you follow the rules I showed you today, you can produce donuts like this that'll last in your case all day long and your customers can take home and still have a nice product the next day. For more information on products and recipes, visit us at yourbakemark.com.